Hi, my name is Nick. I am a product technician. I would like to talk about our Plasma 30i inverter style plasma cutter. But what is plasma? Plasma is a fourth state of matter. You may have learned in school that there are three states of matter solid, liquid, and gas, such as ice, water, and steam. But there is a fourth state of matter. It's when you get the gas so energized that it will actually burn, and that's what plasma is. So how does our Plasma 30i cut metal? We use air from our air compressor that exits the torch through tiny holes. This high velocity electrically charged air is ignited using a spark from the torch which lights the flame used to cut. There are many features of the Plasma 30i. The top four are, number one, its weight. It is only 29 pounds and with its small size makes it easy to transport. The second is input voltage. It will accept either 115 or 220 volts. Whatever plug you put on the cord, it will recognize the incoming voltage and automatically switch internally. The output cutting ability and the thickness it can cut is the same at either voltage. The third feature is the adjustability of the cut. Using the amperage knob, we can adjust the amps to a low setting to cut sheet metal such as on body panels. With a little practice, you can cut the top layer of a body panel without damaging the panel below it. Or you can turn the control to maximum and sever up to half inch material. Now, let me demonstrate some of these features. Always thinking about safety first, you want to protect yourself from sparks from the cutting process, heat, and UV rays that are giving off for, as you're cutting. So I have a welding jacket, appropriate gloves, and a welding mask set to the cutting with a shade of at least five. Let's say you have a body panel and you want to cut out a top layer without damaging a second layer below it. Begin at the lowest amp setting, which may not even penetrate the material, and increase one amp at a time until the arc just penetrates the layer you want to remove. Let's try to cut our panel using a very low amp setting. The amp setting was too low to even start the arc. I am going to increase amperage an amp at a time until the arc penetrates the top layer. As you can see, I reached the proper amperage that allowed me to cut through the top layer. Here is a close up showing how I was able to cut the top panel without damage to the layer below it. When cutting thicker material, it is very important to hold the torch properly. When you begin, angle the torch away from you to avoid sparks blowing back towards you. As it penetrates the material, bring the torch vertical, then angle it back towards the direction of travel which will preheat the material, aiding in the cutting process. This sample that I'm cutting is half inch thick by four inches wide and took me about a minute to cut through. We advertise that the Plasma 30i will sever up to half inch material. Sever would imply a rough surface, however you can see from this sample we ended up with a relatively smooth cut. Before I conclude, I would like to show you two more features of the Plasma 30i. First is the self restart pilot function. What this will allow you to do is to continue to cut gridded or mesh material even though you constantly lose your metallic ground this eliminating the need for you to constantly re-energize the torch. Another feature of the Plasma 30i is the pilot arc, which gives you a flame for approximately three seconds without a ground. This allows you to burn away a painted surface and start to cut without taking the time to first grind down the surface. Another benefit of plasma cutting is that you can cut thin painted material without damaging the paint next to the cut. 
This is because the air coming out of the nozzle will cool the material while it is cutting. Thank you for watching this presentation and don't forget that with your purchase you not only have Snap-on support but our support by calling 1-800-ABC-WELD.